my dear little student friend in an ordinary year if you were to count all the days in a calendar from january to december you would count 365 days yeah na no? yeah but approximately every 4 years february has 29 days instead of 28 Okay so there are 366 days in the year this is called a leap year and friends this is my today's topic me your friend mo and most welcome to really easy friend before we begin i want to inform you those who are studying from class 1 to 12 send us your problem your question your doubts of any topic any subject except commerce we will try our best to discuss those in our upcoming videos okay let's get started a calendar year is a typically 365 days long these so called common years loosely define the number of days it takes the earth to complete one orbit around the sun okay but 365 is actually a rounded number okay na no? okay it takes earth 365.242190 days to orbit the sun or 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes and 56 seconds okay this is sidereal year is slightly longer than calendar year okay and that extra 5 hours 48 minutes and 56 seconds needs to be accounted for somehow if we did not account for this extra time the seasons would begin to trip because over a period of about 700 years our summers which we have come to expect in june in the northern hemisphere would begin to occur in december by adding an extra day every 4 years our calendar years stay adjusted to the sidereal years but that's not quite right either my dear little student friend i have an art channel the link is provided in the description if you are interested about different types of music cave painting portrait drawing drawing style please visit my channel and stay with me friend dear now why why friend why are not leap years always every four years some simple math well so that over 4 years the difference between the calendar years and the sidereal years is not exactly 24 hours instead it's 23.262222 hours by adding a leap day every 4 years we actually make the calendar longer by over 44 minutes over time these extra 44 plus minutes would also cause the seasons to drift in our calendar for these reasons not every 4 years is a leap year so friend the rule is that if the year is divisible by 100 and not divisible by 400 leap year is skipped okay the year 2000 was a leap year for example okay but the years 1700 1800 and 1900 were not the next time a leap year will be skipped is the a uh, year yes in front of your screen my dear little friend if you need more explanation about this matter or if you have any doubt feel free to comment down below my dear little student friend i have a doubt why is it called a leap year 
A common year is 52 weeks and one day long. That means that if your memorable day were to occur on a Monday one year, the next year it should occur on a Tuesday. However, the addition of an extra day during a leap year means that your memorable day now leaps over a day. Okay, your memorable day leaps over Tuesday and will now occur on a Wednesday. If you happen, yes, if you happen to be born on leap day, February 29th, that does not mean you only celebrate a birthday every four years. Every three years, you get to celebrate your birthday on March 1st and continue to grow old like the rest of us. <laughs> Thanks to leap year. My dear little friend, if you get any value from this video, consider liking it and please subscribe to the channel to show your support. In our modern day Gregorian calendar, three criteria must be taken into account to identify leap year. Number one, the year must be evenly divisible by four. Number two, if the year can also be evenly divided by hundred, it is not a leap year unless number three the year is also evenly divisible by 400 then it is a leap year according to these rules the years 2000 is yes leap year but follow the screen My dear little student friend, I know you must have this type of question. Why is leap day on February 29? Yana? Yeah, friend, in the 8th century BC, the Roman calendar had just 10 months, beginning in March and ending in December. The cold winter season was ignored with no months to signify it but this calendar had only 304 days so january and february were eventually added to the end of the religious year february had the fewest days as the last month by around 450 bc january was viewed as the first month of the new year when pope gregory 13 added the leap day to the gregorian calendar in 1582 
he chose february because it was the shortest month making it one day longer on leap years my dear little friend stay with me see you in the next video bye bye